I just wanted to start my what I ate today because I eat vegetarian when I'm at home. I don't keep any meat products. I just want to be much healthier. I'm reminding you to my kitchen to see my life of how I cook and all the vegetarian food that I eat during my normal days when I'm not out and trying new food and restaurants and traveling. I want to show my to be family of how I live normally, how life is when you're eating vegetarian at home. It's pretty simple, really yummy. You're not really giving up much of flavors, a better healthy lifestyle. So it's morning and I just woke up and I'm going to cook. Hmm, what do I want to eat today? I think I'm gonna have oatmeal for breakfast. Follow me and we're gonna cook some oatmeal. All right, girls. They're all like just sitting, chilling right there. Okay, we're gonna go get some oatmeal. Oatmeal. This is a pretty good brand. I just got it at Costco. I like the whole grain because it's softer. I was eating the steel cut oats. That was so hard. I didn't like it. I noticed that when I had that, I just didn't want to eat oatmeal as much. It looks like this. So when I cook, I don't measure the almond milk I use. I love this almond milk. I have like two bottles of this a week. So this is my two go for milk. Boop, 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 boop. I just cover it up. It's gonna cook down, so. Okay, turn on the fire. Bubble, bubble. Turn down the heat. Oh, just that smell. It smells so good. It's pretty much done once it heats up. I've got pumpkin pie spice and ground cinnamon there. Alright, it doesn't matter how much you put. If you like cinnamon, if you don't like cinnamon, that's fine. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. There you go. That's all you really need. Stir it around some more. Let the flavor cook. So you just want it like, oh, look at that. Grab some bowls. Make it cute. Monkey ones. Okay. Alright, breakfast. Some shredded coconuts in there. Put some almond in there. That's a dash. I don't eat a lot of nuts because I tend to break out when I eat a lot of nuts. So if you have like raisins or fruits or other stuff, yeah, I will put it in there. But for now, that's that's it. That is what I'm eating for breakfast. I'm gonna go back to my living room. Look at this, so good. So the sweetness from the almond milk is already in here, so you don't really need to add an extra any sugar. I know that when you're first starting as a vegan or a vegetarian, it doesn't feel the same, it, like it's really hard to get used to, but after a week or a week or two, your body just gets used to it. It's like a newfound love or like a newfound experience with food. It's it's completely different. It's like waking up for the first time to food. Waking up and realizing, wow, I've never seen such beauty in life. And that, that's how I felt when my taste buds woke up. All the vegetables that I was eating tasted sweet and it was like so good and juicy. Oh, I, I'm gonna finish this off. And I'm, then I'm going to watch some TV while I do it. Let's see what's on on Netflix. Alright, I'm gonna watch my show and eat my oatmeal. I'm gonna be making a vegetarian taco today. So here's the ingredients. I have some mini bell peppers, some tomatoes, and cilantro. And here it's cactus. So for cactus, to get that slime off, you boil it away. To boil it in cold water. So, so I'm tossing in the cactus. This is it. You see that? Bleah. And that's gonna be all boiled away. Maybe half a spoon. Let the coconut oil melt a little. And then I put in the onions. Oh, let me do this. Not dropping anything. Okay. Let the onion brown a little. And here you do put some little seasoning. For some seasoning, I have here a Peruvian chili lime seasoning. Ooh, too much. Too much. Too 
much. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Hopefully that's good. Now I'm gonna put some pepper. Oh, can't tell between the peppers and the tomatoes. Come here. Got this. I got this. Yeah. Okay. Let me mix it together. Cook it down. Alright. So I can heat up my potatoes. This is really good. I love Norski and they have yummy, yummy fresh tortilla. And now, for inside, I will put in this Beyond Meat Beefy Crumbles. Perfect for vegetarians. I like this one compared to the other ones because a lot of them have soy in it as a product. Whereas this one has peas in it. This is how you can tell I don't use this that much because now it's like a frozen big ball. Alright, let's see how I can... Mm -hmm. Um, I'm making for two people, so maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's it. So I only use half of that bowl, if you saw. Okay. Look at that. Mm. It's already looking really good and smelling so good. And hopefully, it doesn't see it. It's like so it's a lot, actually. Okay, and I'll add a little bit of salt just to bring out the flavor. For vegan folks, um, you won't add the cheese part. But if you're a vegetarian, then this is fine. This is really good. It's perfectly made for quesadilla. So for this taco, it's so good. When it's just not cooked, you can tell it's cooked because the onions are translucent. I just put half of the tomatoes. I like some cooked and I like some raw, just a little mixture. <laughs> So now I put the cheese on so it'll melt on top of it. And just about, don't, you don't have to put that much, just a little bit. All right, now you can get that little nice burnt taste. And so now that this is cooked, I just put, scoop it on top. All right, let's do this without spilling. And then I smash it. And then let the cheese melt on. And then when the cheese melts onto it, then it will stay. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, let's get the other one. Once you see that it's bubbling up, like look, oh. That means it's ready to put on. Alright, let's close this baby up. Close it up the other way. Okay, I got this. I got this! Ignore the side fills. Here's the next one. This one's done. Look how beautiful it is. Alright. And then, so to eat it, I just look how beautiful. Just scoop up these ingredients, put it on the top, and that's how I eat it. All right, I forgot to put this in my tacos. So plan B: cut the lime I have here. Should be the other way around. Oh, but this way you can't squeeze. Look, it doesn't fit. I usually put a smaller piece. Um, okay, so it works. So I put some lime, dash lime. This is how we ate it in Playa de Carmen, so this works too. And then put some salt. Okay. Stir it all together. I'm gonna put it on the side. And this is how it was served there. And it was just like, bam, here's your free appetizer. Let me try it. Mmm, really good. Mm -hmm. Hot. 
lot. All right, got my hand. There's my taco. Good. Yeah. It's falling. Here is the hot sauce that I got from Playa de Carmen. I'm going to put it on there. As well as some Taco Bell hot sauce. Love Taco Bell. I have no more hands. I'm going to put this down. Alright. Get my taco back. And that one took me like 30 minutes to make. 30 minutes, super easy. Then I can eat this and get back to work. Okay. Glad I have a plate. So here's the cactus I forgot. It's so good this way. I actually like it this way than my tacos. Now I'm gonna eat the rest of my food and watch some TV. She always sits there and watches the outside. So, I'm gonna watch some TV and then I will see you on my next meal. Yep. Um, yep. So, I was yep. catching up on your Come vlog here. and it's so good. Girl. Yeah. His head and she's hand like, she loves it. in the flame. Let's give her a smile. The Burning Man. Yeah. I haven't really updated that story in a while, but there's some reports that I could send you. That'd be great. Thank you. Get away. Can I ask you something? Girl to girl. I mean, lately. You like it? Keeping some sort of it? secret from me. Is there anything that you know about that I should know about? Oh, she's eat. Oh, she ate it. <laughs> okay. Everyone likes cactus. Look at Lily. Very Alan. Thank you for coming in. We're going to the store to grab some ingredients for dinner. Going to make vegan pho. For my pho noodles, I have here some lotus seeds, uh, carrots, um, Thai basil, fennel seeds, uh, a turnip, mushrooms, bean sprouts. I boiled water. Here I have a whole onion and ginger. So I don't want to chop these onions too small because then they'll just become nothing in the soup. This is a small onion, so I take out the skin, so, so it becomes flattened. This way, the flavor comes out of it when you're cooking it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw all this inside. And then so for these, I'm just gonna cut them pretty big. Okay, about the size. Take out the skin on half of it. I cut it. I'll leave this one for another recipe another day. It keeps pretty well in the fridge. So this is too big to handle. I cut that in half. Then I cut this in half, this in half. Then I deal with the halfies. This is in a soup that I'll be cooking for a while. I'm gonna create bigger pieces. All this yummy sweetness is gonna leak into the water and create a yummy soup. These are the mushrooms I use for organic mushrooms. These are my favorite. So when you cook it in a sauce, these kind of taste like um, meat. So it, it's a good, they have good texture. For this, I just cut it lengthwise. It's like if you're eating pho, rare steak or like the flanks and stuff, this is what it would kind of be like or replace. You don't have to put this. I put it inside because it's healthy. Literally a handful of it. It takes a long time to cook. It's perfect for this dish because it'll be in the soup for a little while. So everything that was chopping is in the soup now. So next, I put all these in a pan and I'm gonna toast it up so all the flavor will come out of them. I have star anise, cinnamon stick, fennel seeds. And just keep moving it around so it gets nice and toasty. Now it's ready because you could see that it's now toasty and brown. I put it on a little sleeve like so. 
And then I take it and I rinse them. After I rinse, I have this bag here and I'll take them and just drop it in there. This way it would separate from my soup. So I would close this up. Mm. So good. So I take my little baggie and drop it in my soup. Okay, now that has been boiling for a little bit, I put a little bit of rock sugar. So basically you just add the salt according to how salty you want it. And it's just your own personal preference. So it's still boiling. Just have it on low to medium heat. So you literally let the soup Simmer for about an hour and then it's ready to go. Just cut up and wash up all the ingredients you're gonna put on top. I have here everything cut up. So that's the bell sprouts, Thai basil, I just loosely chopped it, and then cilantro, loosely chopped it, green onions, and lime. This is gonna be all on top of the pho after it's all done. Now it's time to cook the noodles. This one is rice noodles. Now that the water's boiling, I put the noodles in. Remember to stir it because it's going to stick together. Now that the noodles are cooked, this is what they look like. The package said to cook it for five minutes, but after five minutes, I felt like it was still a little bit tough for me. So I cooked it for an extra five more minutes. So water over it. It washes away all that rice grab, and it gives it a little nice chewy texture. I grab some noodles with my clean hand. Put it on. Okay. Now I'm gonna go take my noodles. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mm, smells so good. Stir it a little bit. You know when it's good when your all that veggie color has gone into that soup. Look at that color. Deep veggie broth. Some veggies. Let me find the mushroom. The mushroom that will kind of act like sliced meat. Instead, you get sliced mushrooms. Nom 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 nom. Oh yeah. So now, this is not too hot. I'm gonna transfer it back to where my veggie is. Put some of this on it. That's the Thai basil. And now the cilantro. And now the green onions. Look how pretty it is. I mean, if you like yours hot, you can put sriracha. That's it. That's my VG pho. Then I put lime juice over it. Mmm, I added some sriracha in it. Get it with some kick. And try the mushroom. Oh, mushroom really feels and tastes like kind of like meat. If you want meat, these mushrooms are perfect like texture for it. If you like hot sauce, the sriracha, definitely a match. Mm -mm -mm. Veggie pho at home. That was so good. I finished my whole bowl. So I'm here. Next thing I'm gonna eat is a Roy's chocolate. No, 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 no. Laying on my couch and drinking hibiscus tea and watching the Big Bang Day. Chocolate tongue. Oh man, I'm down to three pieces. That means I'm not gonna share with my husband. Just kidding. He doesn't want chocolate, right? It's all in my mouth. The chocolate was so good. I'm so addicted to those chocolates. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that I finished it. I can't buy it anymore. 
I only get them when I'm on my trips. Oh well, it was good while it lasted. Now all I have is my tea. And Lily. Lily, say hi to everyone. Yeah, I'm so Lily. Lily, you sad too? By the way, don't you love this cup? This boy is so cute. We got it because it looked like my husband. Well, now he has contacts now, so it doesn't look like him anymore. But this cup totally reminded me of him. I'm from a coffee place in New York. I don't recall the name right now, but every time I use it, it's like I have my husband right next to me. But oh, I'm almost done. Look. Look how red the hibiscus is. Pretty much today, I just cooked all day. <laughs> I cook, and then then I went out to buy food to cook, and I worked a little. Pretty much my day. So right now it's almost nine, and I'll see if I eat anything else. Probably not. All right, now it's twelve o'clock. I don't plan on eating anything so I'm gonna end my what I ate today food vlog it's gonna go sleep now I finished my work then go brush my teeth and call it a night thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't yet give me a thumbs up if you like this video so I know that I should make more of my food vlogs I will vlog you next time bye follow the link to watch more videos